Over the last week, scores of Rose Art Museum visitors found signs like these on the front windows, left over from a student sit-in at the museum last week, which drew 200 attendees. The story has drawn national and international attention and caused some students to notice the museum for the first time. I'm actually a senior, I've never been there before, which I'm embarrassed to say, but now knowing that it won't be there um, and how prestigious it's been, it is, then I definitely plan on visiting. But art students who relied on the museum for inspiration and study have not embraced the university's plan to convert the museum into an art teaching facility. The fact that we need more space is not, is, does not have anything to do with this facility. We don't, it would be very, so weird be painting in here, having known the artists and the works that are here and what it used to stand for. Um, it's to, this is a museum. We don't deserve the Rose Art Mu Museum. It's not an art facility. It's a gallery space. Other students, now over the initial shock and mindful of the university's dwindling endowment, think the idea is a wise one and respect the university for placing students and faculty first in times of economic hardship. But I really feel that the direction that the university is going in in terms of this financial crisis is one of integrity, is one of um, value, and of, is one of definitely looking out for the needs of the students and representing the institution in the best way possible. But few express the same confidence in the university's method of arriving at this decision or the plan to sell the entire collection of art in a down market. I don't think that that was necessarily a good step at this time because it's just not a very good time to sell art in general. I think if they sold a portion of the art, that might be okay. Um, you know, especially now, they're not going to get the full value of the collection. Um, by selling it now when you know, economic times are so bad. Brandeis President Yehuda Reinhardt said earlier this week he was unaware of the media spectacle the closure would cause. It seems unlikely that he and the trustees will reverse their decision, but he said at a recent Q&A session that the university might not sell all the art in the museum's collection as originally intended. Any sale of the works would have to be conducted on a potentially complicated and expensive case-by-case -case basis and would require the approval of the state district attorney's office. Whatever the fate of the art and the museum, most students agree on one thing. I'm not sure what's going to help. I think that it's just really important that people come out and support the art community. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.